Are you prepared for Fontaine? I'm not. Fontaine is coming out very, very soon, and there's a whole lot of things you can do right now to prepare those slows in those last few days for the next version, which will help you to be in the very best position when the next version actually does hit, and be surprised by absolutely nothing so you don't end up as a homeless bum like me. Hey guys, it's me, i for one and today we're going to check out how exactly you do those things I just mentioned before, so you can be in a better position than me. So let's go ahead and get right into it. If you are anything like me, you still have age-old quests which you haven't finished since ages, some dating back to prehistoric times. And by prehistoric times, I mean Lee, uh, sorry old man. But doing them is a very good way to earn yourself some primo gems and get around to places in the world you might have not been to yet. Just remember to not accept new ones, because while some of them will give you primo gems, all of them will clutter up your quest log, so go ahead and clean it up. So that when the new version does roll around, your quest log looks all neat and clean and has no 50 star silver collection quest cluttering it anymore. Genshin's world is pretty big, but behind every chest is at least one Primo Gems, and there's even bigger chests. They give two Primo Gems. So go ahead and explore the world. This kinda goes hand in hand with the previous tip, so as you do your leftover quests, you will also explore the world. Maybe you have regions you have barely done, maybe you're about to finish some, but at least it is something to do. And not only does it give you Primo Gems, but it also gives you level up materials, more artifacts, and more that you can not only use right now, but you can use later on on leveling up characters and weapons, making this a great all-rounder. But you will do it passively anyway, as you do all the tips from the video. So don't over-focus on it, at least not at the start, but later on, once you're more finished, once there's less to do, you can focus on just exploring the world and picking up those last two chests that you might have forgotten earlier. But this brings me to another type of quest, the Archon quest. And while you should not overfocus on exploring the world, you should overfocus on finishing your Archon quest and also character quests as much as you can. Not only is it cluttering up your quest log, but it's also a case of this character is busy doing something else. On that note, my albedo is to this day still waiting in Dragonspire for me to do something. Do what? I don't even know anymore what I was supposed to do. I just know I forgot him there since over a year and he's still waiting there. So make sure to pick up anyone who might have been lost at McDonald's for the past over a year. Not only will your Primo Wallet thank you, but the ability to actually do the new Archon Quest once it comes out is actually pretty handy instead of being forced to do all the old content you didn't do yet. Okay, so this one kind of goes with what I say, but you need level up books and crystals to level up, well, about anything, basically. And to level up that stuff, you need Mora as well. And there's, however, only two types of Genshin players here. The ones that have more Mora than you can imagine, and those who are entirely broke because they actually spent everything on actually playing the game and leveling up the characters. But you can save up, you can do acceleration for Mora, you can open the store and exchange any star glitter you have for Mora as well. And obviously the teapot exists, which gives you both artifact level up materials and even more Mora. Just remember, leveling up a character to level 90 will cost you a metric shitload of materials of Mora. Also, make sure to save for the boss crystals that allow you to ascend characters. Those might be handy later on as well. Both the Spiral Abyss and the Battle Pass will actually be reset very, very soon. So use a chance and do as much of them as you still can just before the new version hits. You can still get the Battle Pass quite far, even if you didn't start it all yet, and there's barely any time left on it. Events give you a lot of progress, and at the bare minimum, you should be able to still get roughly 20 levels from it. Just don't do the task that tells you to do 50 folds, that will be kind of counterintuitive to preparing for the new version. Not only will this give you some nice level up materials and some Mora, but it will also give you fragile reason, even if you don't pay on the battle pass, which in return allows you to redeem them whenever you want for even more resin. On top of that, the Spiral Abyss, even if you can't finish it fully, will still give you a few extra Primo Gems, so just try it and get as far as you can without pushing yourself too hard. Just remember, it's basically optional, it's not something you have to finish right away and do all of it. But do you remember that Fragile Risen from just earlier we talked about? You will soon need resin for everything. New characters means new artifacts, new artifacts means new domains, new weapon upgrade materials, new character level up materials, new bosses, so keep your resin and use it later on, once the new version is actually out. To speedrun leveling up those characters, you might just be getting very soon. 
However, remember to also grab the resin from the duck on a truck. I mean, pot. He's on a pot, not, not in a truck. He lives in a pot, okay? That guy. Because the resin you get from that guy lasts only seven days and you can use it to do just one more run of, well, anything you want to. So go ahead and make sure to save your fragile resin, but also use that one stack you're getting from the teapot as well. The last thing you should do before the new version hits is enforce a good spending habit. I mean, save a premos. Not only should you not spend your premos on characters you might not necessarily want right now, rather save them up and use them later on a character you really want. Who knows, maybe you prefer the Hydra Archon over Linny. Maybe you want that old man. I, I, I don't know. But more importantly, don't buy Primo Gems for hard cash right now. Because once a new version is out, the crystal bonuses from spending the hard earned cash you earned in the coal mines will reset and every pack will give you the max amount of bonus crystals for the first time you spent on it. So just remember, good spending habit. I am on 80 pity and have a guarantee and I really want the Hydra Archon but I also want Linnea, please help me. A big thank you to my Patreon supporters for allowing me to make this kind of video. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe and maybe check out my other videos and remember to tell me in the comments how are you preparing for Fontaine or are you even preparing at all? I mainly want a clean quest log because it will look nice but anyway, see you next time.